<laughs> hey, John, you talked a little bit uh, uh, about blues fishing, and then you mentioned flatheads. On on the Missouri River, what are how do you target a flathead, and what are the baits you're using for it? For flathead, I prefer, you know, I'm really noted for catching blues, but I cut my teeth on flathead in some of the can, eastern Kansas reservoirs and the Kansas River and spent years chasing flatheads. Uh, flatheads do not relate to the current the way the blues do. They're going to be more bank-oriented. I love real steep uh, straight up and down clay bank. You want easier, slower current. You know, if you can find that kind of a setup with logs and stuff in it, that's even better, but you don't have to have it. The, the number one thing you want to do is fish in an area that's got diminished current, and the best bait you can use is big live baits. That can be bluegill, it can be goldfish, it can be small Asian carp. Uh, we caught a Oh, about a 30-pound flathead a week ago, a week and a half ago, I guess. And uh, that was one of the goldfish targeting just a, just a straight up and down clay bank with diminished current. Again, the, the current is part of the key for these flatheads. You don't want that straight, straight line, hard current. John, I kind of wanted to backtrack just a little bit. You, you talked a little bit about tackle, and Brad asked about setting up tackle, things like that. But we always like to talk about getting that next generation involved, those kids out there, and maybe going out and catching those channel cat. Do you have to get those big, heavy rods? Because, I mean, it looks like surf rods and surf reels for a lot of the catfishing out there. The kids, they can't handle that. What's a good tip for those kids out there? What's some tackle they can go out there and maybe just go catch some catfish out there, maybe some little channel cat, things like that, that that's affordable that they can buy? Absolutely. You know, I actually had this conversation. I, I just got back from ICAST. I was down there pretty much all week, and uh, we're in the process of buying tackle from places all over the, the world, you know, to try to get it in here to add to our line of uh, tackle. And I'm sitting there talking to this guy, and I said, you know what? I want to do a, a line of kids, uh, a combination rod and reel for, for kids, because I don't see that in the catfish market at all. Uh, and that's one of the things that we're going to try to do. So look for that coming down the pipe. But you can go to Kmart, Walmart, or some of your local bait stores. You just want a five or six foot long, inexpensive fiberglass pole with 12 pound test line with a, a Zebco reel on it or a light uh, spin cast reel on it. Use some of the dip bait products or some of our leaking livers through rip and lips. And go out there, you'll catch all the channel cats that you want. And that's what uh, a lot of Americans, that's the way they fish for, for catfish. You don't have to have that big fancy rod and reel, and there's plenty of stuff for kids uh, on the market. Absolutely. And that's a great thing to hear. I'm glad you guys are going to put that together. That's Looking forward to that.